let's go see. There are a couple of cute things hanging out here. This is like a, this is interesting. Oh, like an old CD holder. I'm not sure how it hangs on the wall. I wonder if that would be worth anything. This guy's a cutie. He's a little worn out, but adorable. Poor car, he's gonna die. But this now. I will take that because that is great packing materials. And I know people just love to just dump their garbage, but that's okay. I'm not going to take the garbage because that is not my duty. <laughs> All right, I am sweating a little bit, but I just want to share this story. So. You know, I was thinking and praying as I had to run my packages to the post office. I really wanted to see if I could find some free stuff today. And so I was truly, I was praying, God, if there's any free stuff out there, you know, guide me to it. If not, I will just go home and get working. I got tons of other stuff to do. So for some reason, again, I was just guided down a road. I saw a garage sale sign, so I followed it, followed it, and I'll spin you around road that's about I don't know 10 minutes from my house all right we're gonna get going but I am loading up I am loaded up and I'm gonna go home and leave the dogs at home so that I can get more it'll probably take me two or three trips whatever she wants to give me so I pulled up and there was a gal and she's like I mean, I looked at my wallet and I'm like, I only have like $2 and change, but maybe she's got some, you know, good stuff and then I'll figure out a way to get some more money. Or maybe she has some free stuff. And as I walked up, she was like, you know, I am getting really tired of doing this. So all the stuff on these two blankets are free and anything that's a dollar is four for a dollar. And she just started telling me just how everything was cheap and all this stuff. And I was like, okay. Um, yeah, and then I had been thinking on the way also. I was just kind of thinking that I want to put on Facebook like an advertisement of uh, that I would come pick up your end of garage sale things. It's not garbage, but I would also pick up, as you saw me do a few minutes ago, I would happily do that. So I have to say something else that's interesting about God because she had also said that she had been sitting there and just, she had also been praying for God to bring her some help. She didn't know how she was going to deal with it. Now she has a ton of stuff that are uh, beautiful antiques and vintage that she is going to try and sell herself. So I may not get that kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of what she gave me is garage sale stuff. So I don't know how much of it I'll be able to resell online. I may just throw myself a little garage sale. I told her, I said, maybe we can make a deal on all the rest of the stuff. But she doesn't feel like trying to sell it and make it. So I said, think about that. I said, get things packed up or take a break because it is hot out here. And that's the other thing. She was getting really hot. So I said, go take a break, drink some water. I'll be back in about a half hour. But what is weird is the road I turned onto that is up the road from there about a couple blocks is where I picked up my now home <laughs> the Winnebago I'm living in and right there and right where I am right now so you've seen me talking for three minutes almost is where it broke down and we had to tow it back with just a little pickup we towed it back and parked it and it's been in the same place for three years now and this is also the corner where James's nephew was killed in a car accident so very very weird very weird but yeah so you know God is amazing if you really just you know I was watching a prayer this morning and we were talking about the power of prayer and that you have to believe you have to believe it and I was sitting there and I'm like yep you got to have faith, you got to believe it, and you got to receive it. And I'm receiving the blessings of that prayer. Now, this car is full of, I would say, probably 75% of what's in here is probably going to get donated. But I'm going to try to make that work to my advantage and donate it to a couple different places where I can get maybe a coupon, 25% off or whatever. 
by donating. So I'm hoping to do that. So that'll help me out and again pass stuff on that I don't need, that I can use, but that somebody else could. Keep telling me just how much a blessing I am and how much she appreciates it. So. I got me another packed load with the doggos at home so I could utilize all of the trunk space for more things. Very sweet lady. She used to do storage units, buy them and, and sell, and she's having a lot of health problems right now. Is on now. She's older. She's on SSI now, and what she's trying to do is get everything sold. She's downsized into a little place. She's actually living in a fifth wheel. She's got to get rid of all her stuff. She's uh, selling this primarily for us so that she can get a vehicle. God's really put it on my heart to help that happen for her. So I need to figure that out. I would love, and I even told her that, if I could figure out a way to get me a truck, which is really what I need, um, something that I can get financed and make payments on, I would give her my car. It does need some work, at least at this point. It's just a, a $55 part, possibly, and then having it put in, um, which I could probably get someone to help me do that, I hope. So we'll see. We'll see. I've already agreed to pay for $100 for um, a really large pig collection that she has. She just keeps talking a lot about how tired of it is, how much she wants to get rid of it, and she's just got all this stuff that she thinks she can make money off of, and maybe she will. I look at what she sees as valuable and thinks she can get money on, and thinking there's probably about, maybe if she's lucky, about a hundred bucks. Maybe. Of course, if she believes she can get money for it, she should try. We are on to load three, and this is the last load of things for you. Now, she has taken a bunch of stuff off and has told me that I can have everything else, including the, the pigs, which I had already offered 100 for, um, everything else for an additional 100 So really now she's down to 200 which is really generous. And honestly, I, oh, it's still on my heart. I really would like to pay her what I originally offered. Load this load. Now there's probably, so these banana boxes, that one actually does have stuff in it. The one down there is empty and she's got four or five more of those that she wants me to take. And I told her I would take all of her boxes. I can always use cardboard. I don't ship things typically that big, but I can use those for storage and also to break up to make Franken boxes. So it is around five, a little after five now. And this is so funny because it was not my plan for the day at all, but here we are. Oh, almost going off the road because I'm getting tired and hot. Thank goodness it's starting to get cool. Uh, so I don't know. She's kind of putting the pressure on. She really wants the stuff all out of there. And so she's probably getting that from her landlord and I get that. It seems like it, I, I, I just met him. A nice young man, but young people, God bless them, sometimes they're not as patient and kind. And that comes I certainly with experience and age. I'm not gonna lie. Here it all is. Now I had to put it under tarps. That's my car because I had some furniture but it's all under tarps so that it would not get wet when, of course, that was the night it was gonna rain. So I walk around, because I gotta get the rest of the furniture out. So we got this sweet little guy and a drawer goes in there that's in the car right now. In fact, I can open it. Oh, sweet like little cutie. So we got a little side nightstand there. We got another one there. Those will both be painting jobs. Let's see if it unlocks. Um, I have a table under here that's gonna also get painted. This is the cutest little shelf. Oh uh, yeah, there's the drawer. Got the rest of this is a nice rack. So that'll be great more for me, so that's personal. This is a really weirdo thing. It's like a vintage 
kind of a desk. I think she got it from a school surplus and then put all that tape on it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Nice, not too big oak shelf. Again, perfect for a shop. This cute little guy, I had one almost exactly like it. In fact, I was looking at it going, is that the one I had? But it's not. So this has four shelves, so very nice. And then this cute little guy is actually the topper. Let's go, let's go see what that looks like. Oh, he's heavy. Good thing I'm hauling water every day. But here's the drawers. So on one of those, isn't that cute? Um, I will repaint it though, cause yeah, you know, I, I think it's, it's got enough. And then this one, and again, they're not like super high quality, but they'll be so cute painted. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? Now it is missing one of its knobs and I don't even care. We can f easily replace that. I know some designers don't like that, but I wanna keep with the era. I will be painting it, probably a green with milk paint. That's the colors I have. So let's go see what's under all of these tarps. And here we go. So I'm gonna kind of start from the back and we'll walk around. So these are three boxes high. Now, as I think I said, and kind of as I was bringing stuff out, that some things are gonna be worth more than others. This was actually part of the pig collection. And I just realized it's like some kind of electronic, so it kind of counts down. That's pretty cute. Um, but what we ended up doing, so if you imagine, I think pretty much from here over was, and kind of in here, all what she was willing to give me for free. Now there's clothes, there's decor, there's sh uh, shoes, bags, some things that are absolute garbage and will be going. But then this is all kind of what's left of the beautiful collectibles. And in fact, I there's three bins that have, hi Macy, that have a pig, pigs in them of all varieties. And for that, I offered her $200. So, um, and it's a fair, fair price because really what I consider 200 is for all of it. So basically I bought all but just a few things from her after, you know, she was just so burnt out, so sad, so tired. She, like I said, has some illnesses and we got our boy Grace now has to come check it out. Hi cheeks, hi cheeks. What I'm gonna be doing over the next few weeks is we're gonna be going through these boxes. We're gonna sort, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna go ahead and donate that just we don't wanna bother trying to resell, what things are gonna be for resell, and where we're gonna sell them. These two kind of stools, maybe $10, $15 on Facebook Marketplace. There's some things that, I told her I would take everything in, so that meant the things that were kind of junky. She said that thing works except not on medium, so low or high, I guess, is all that goes. But there's some neat things that I know I can get some money for, some very interesting things. And then there's some things that are just, eh, if I can't use them, they'll probably get donated. Uh, James may take that little microwave if it works. But uh, you can see there is a lot, a lot of things <laughs> to be going through. So this is going to be super fun for me. I cannot stress to you enough the glory of God. I give him all the glory, all the grace he's given to me. In fact, we, James and I were looking at this stuff. There's, because I've lost, I've lost a few pounds. The, a lot of these clothes, I actually put on a pair that was a size 14 and it fit me and that I haven't worn a 14 in probably 20 years. So, and then I think that one is too. So, you know, some of this stuff may be a blessing to me personally, as far as getting things that fit me. So I'm kind of looking forward to going through the clothes because I don't have a whole lot of clothes that fit me in the size I am right now. This is a like a couch cover, which is kind of neat. Well, we've got everything moved into my area to be worked on. All those boxes are closed, or there could be some more blankets up at the top or some really cute kind of little fluffy blankets. There's four of them. 
some pillows and figure out how I'm going to sell it. Some things I will be selling on eBay or Etsy. Um, all the clothes will be Poshmark. And then uh, I may do some whatnot sales. Down here are the three bins of the pig collection. The bottom bin over there has uh, a brass. And then we have some, my sorting. We have, what's well, garbage? All the blankets and sheets and things she gave me that I'll probably donate. Uh, donation is that box. Or no, that's housewares. I need to go through more. Uh, crafting here. This is donations. And I need to go through that down there. But that is where we are. And that is where I'm going to leave you for this week. Starting next week, we will start sharing the boxes and listing things. And then this last area right here. Uh, the agreement was I would take everything, including all the boxes. So these are all empty boxes, except they have like newspaper and stuff, which is great. I can use it. Now there's clearly just some broken stuff and a coffee pot I don't need. This is an air mattress, but it leaks. That'll probably get thrown away. Now some weird stuff. This is another thing I'll probably donate. She said it works on medium, but not, or doesn't work on medium. That's the only one that doesn't work. Again, don't need it, probably couldn't get any money. So that's that one box I'm working on over in my sorting area. We'll go with this and then I'll figure out what I can donate and what will just get thrown away. Keep looking up. Keep looking up.